first time I ever had somebody ever tell me they're gonna kill me. This is ridiculous. I gotta go. Well, this is first for everything. Hi everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmy. if you're new here. It's so good to have you here. Today we are finally watching The Karate Kid Part 2. It's actually been a while since we watched the first Karate Kid. I loved that movie though, and I've been really, really looking forward to seeing the continuation of it, especially because I kind of felt like the first movie ended really, really abruptly. It was like Daniel won the tournament and then it was immediately credits rolling. I felt like we still had a lot of loose ends and a lot of things to do. I'm curious what like the problem will be this time, if it's still going to be Cobra Kai and how we work through that. And I also loved Mr. Miyagi, so I'm excited to see more of him too. So yeah, besides that, I have no expectations, except hopefully this will be just as good as the first one, if not better. And we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. If you aren't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. Of course, a thumbs up is appreciated too. Also on my Patreon, I'm four weeks ahead, so if you're interested in both early access and full-length reactions, you can check out my link for that in the description below. Alright, let's go! Ooh. We like the music that it's starting with. The Karate Kid Part 2. What a cool reveal for the title. Ah. New movie, but Mr. Miyagi is still struggling with flies in his house, I see. Is this... a recap? Because I thought that exact scene happened in the first movie. Oh, yes. Okay, this is a recap. Did they used to do that in movies a lot? Because nowadays I feel like it's just flashbacks throughout the movie. Not like a little recap in the movie in the beginning of the movie, but I actually really like it. As someone who has memory issues, this is kind of nice. Sweep the leg. You have a problem with that. Yeah, and he should have a problem with that. And that's like right where we left off. That's how exactly how abrupt it felt. I think right, she's settling. Uh... Early retirement. He said, I'm not about to do all these tournaments with you. We're just doing this one to for the plot. But Mr. Miyagi doesn't seem like one for trophies. Uh oh. Not the popped collar. That guy just doesn't know what karate's all about. Yeah. Yeah, well maybe you should look. He's got too much ego for it. <laughs> His autograph. Oh, that's sweet. Get you the price of fame, Mr. Miyagi. Gotta get used to it. Take it easy, baby. I'll see you. No, Mr. Miyagi does not want you to get big ego. No, you're the loser, man. Oh, Oof. I'm the loser, huh? Yeah. <gasps> no. Oh my God, huh? bro! The fact that he hey. does this. Hey, come on. Uh, hey. An adult to a teenager in public. We can only imagine what he's doing in private, you know? He's sorry, okay? He really is. Boy, let him go. And this is where Mr. Biagi comes in. Beat it slow for your next. Get him. Bro, you do not want to go head to head with Mr. Miyagi. <gasps> Dang. Oh, he's real mad now. That was embarrassing. Oh, double embarrassing. Bro, just call it quits. A man face you. He Whoa. Is enemy. Enemy deserve no mercy. No mercy? Mr. Miyagi. Huh. <laughs> I was meant to say there's no way he would do that. <laughs> oh my god, though. If that wasn't an ego killer, what would be? Stop for person with no forgiveness in heart, living even worse punishment yes, than death. Yes, exactly. That was like killing his ego, killing his pride in that moment. Very effective. Wow. Six months later, okay. A little bit of a time jump. 
Mr. Miyagi does still have the fly problem, I see. Maybe he welcomes them, though. Just through the point. <gasps> he did it. And that means he can do anything. And your son must have been some senior prom. What happened? You mean what didn't happen? First, I let out prom. She redesigns my fender. And I don't know what you do with the engine, but that ain't running right either. Uh oh. And you know what else she does? She tells me that she's What a nice 80s prom suit, though. I feel like boys just wear black tuxedos nowadays. We gotta invite these colors back. We leave tomorrow afternoon. I gotta send my whole summer to Fresno. Going back to Fresno for the summer? What about karate? How'd you do that? He caught the fly, so he can do anything now. Cosmic coincidence. When'd you build this? Wow. Watch. God, his house and yard are so beautiful. Come, take off jacket. You try. So instead of going to prom, he's gonna do this. Do basic of life. We're praying. Breathing. Breathing. Yeah. No. I get it. <laughs> Sometimes just watching people do breath exercises is in itself relaxing. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. Can he do it? Hey, oh! I did it. Yeah, he did. Nice. I don't think I could do that. Oh. In. Oh. I love his lessons where he's working, but it's actually like a bigger lesson and doing more than just learning how to build something. What am I building out there anyway? Guest room. A guest room? Well, that's cool. Refugee? Oh, yeah, that's great. From where? Fresno. <laughs> Does he mean Daniel? <laughs> Refugee? Miyagi talked to mother last night, too. And she said I could stay in here? Just like. Oh, oh my God. That's awesome. Wow, so an entire summer to spend with Mr. Miyagi. That's so funny that he called him a refugee, though. <laughs> Thank you for gift. Why show off? Hmm. This say you brave. Yeah, your this heart. Say you lucky. Oh, that's true. And also, unfortunately for Mr. Miyagi, I think it's a reminder of how he lost his wife. Oh, my missus loves this stuff. You mind if I bring her by sometime to see it? To see his yard? Do we even know you? My father. Your father? Here. Very sick. Oh, me neither. No offense, Mr. Miyagi, but I thought he would have been like very, very, very old, which he could be. But like, you know, I thought he would be too old. It was arranged by her parents. She married someone else. Oh, we didn't know that. What was he like? Was Miyagi's best friend. <gasps> Oof, that's rough. What did he do when he found out about you two? Challenge Miyagi to fight. And did you fight? Go against parent arrangement. Marry Yuki any. Wow. And that's a big deal. Never fight. Hmm. Next day, leave Okinawa forever. Oh, wow. Oh, so then how could you leave? Miyagi no believe in fighting. Wow. To that, that extent? Fight. Yeah. Sir, never put passion before principle. Passion before mm. principle. Hmm. That's that's like Jedi thinking. In Okinawa, honor very serious. Yeah, honor is like huge still, like anywhere in Japan. Miyagi, sorry, things not to work out. Oh, no, it's no problem. I hope your dad's okay. Yeah, I guess I only just now realized that they won't be having their summer together. Unless Daniel goes with Mr. Miyagi, I think he could use the support. Did Daniel not get there on time? Oh, no, that's sad. Man, back in the day when people would like dress up to go on the airplane. And nowadays you just want to be as comfortable as possible. Very expensive ticket. Well, no, no, I got the money out of my savings account. It's all taken care of. Aww. 
So I'll get a job when we get back, and I'll go six months later. It really doesn't make a difference when I go. Oh, Daniel. Sumiyagi, you're more important than college. You're more important than anything Aww. to me. I mean... You know. That's so sweet. I'm happy that he's there for Mr. Miyagi, too. Never know you study that. What? I just started. Oh, I'm closing <laughs> the doors. Alrighty. Oh my god, they're so sweet. I love their relationship so much. Young man. Yeah, he's coming with us. Let's go. Wait, this is so exciting. We're going to Japan. That's so much better than spending summer at home. What do you mean airsick? What's airsick? So is this Daniel's first ever flight? Why did he have a passport? How did he get that that fast? Also, this is one heck of a flight to go on for the first flight. You look again, Molly. Maybe Tommy will be there. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Daniel, I need to sleep. It should be there. <laughs> that is so sweet that Daniel wants to study, though. He's such an open-minded kid, and I remember that from the last movie, too. Our same teacher. Your dad? Your father? He told both of you? Alright. Oh, wow. Did your family's karate was only taught from father to son? Miyagi asked father make exception to this kid. Oh. Wow, that's how close they were? How do you know who wins? Is it a fight to the death? The one who did. <gasps> it is! Whoa, no wonder he left. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, you can love someone, but that is, you do have to do principle over passion when it comes to killing someone. You know, I kept looking through my book. I still can't find your village on the map. How are we going to find it? Last taxi. Why is it not on the map? Okay, now I feel like there's something weird with it. That's Sato. Don't know. Never been attacked by tree. <laughs> See, he's like, that's all for a show. Mr. Miyagi's not about that. So seems like even though they were best friends, they were really different. Yukiya Sansei, sorry she could not meet you herself. We have a car waiting for you. Oh, I want to see her. I hope you'll stay here. It's a pleasant one. Hmm? That's a firm handshake you've got. Are you sure you're hoping we have a pleasant time? That felt like a threat. Something, something weird was going on with that. How you know I be here today? Uh, Okinawa, very small place. Oh, you didn't even tell Yukie that he was coming today? That's weird. You go, Miyagi-san. Some things have a nut, eh? <laughs> What's so funny? And what are you guys up to? Me and Mr. Miyagi don't like it. Oh, that building says Sato. They're bringing him directly here? Are they gonna try to throw down immediately? Like, is Sato super bitter? Uncle! Uncle! Uncle? Is that Sato? And he's his nephew? So coward. You return. Coward? To settle affairs with father. And with me. No, that's Sato. not why. Yeah. I know fight. That is not why he came back. You see your father. Then you see me. Okay. Well, at least he's letting him see his father. <laughs> I thought he wanted to kill him right now. In his business suit and all. Hmm, that really showed the difference of respect that they have for each other. Like Daniel having so much respect for people that he hasn't even met yet of Okinawa that he's learning and reading a book and how that guy just threw the book, didn't even acknowledge him, didn't even throw the book for Daniel to catch, just threw it at the ground. Why didn't you just marry her and, and, and move to Alaska? Daniel said, nobody perfect. Mm. He's like, if I had thought about that, maybe I would have. But he still would have had to move back. I wonder how Yuki is feeling that he's that she's married to someone like Sato. If she was in love with Mr. Miyagi, I can't imagine she could also love someone like Sato. You standing on it, Corporal! Get him out of here! Right, well, just take that road and make a right. So it's like a military base now? Like an Air Force base. 
was much quieter there. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. That's too bad. Their quaint little village being taken over like that. Oh my god, but look at how cute it is. Thanks a lot. Hi. I don't know if these are houses are like real or if it's part of a set for the movie, but I love Japanese architecture so much. And I really, really like the way these houses look. And Yuki is Yuki, where is she? Yeah. Where is she? Hi, I'm Daniel. Hi. I'm Kumiko. Please. Thank you. Who is Kumiko? Like, what's her relation, everyone? Oh, wow. That's Yukie? At least she's here. I mean, how sweet of her to take care of Miyagi's dad. Oh, she's even crying seeing him. Oh, and he's crying. I don't like this. Sad. I've known for many years. Why you never write the sooner? Probably because she was scared. Out of respect. Oh. For husband. No. No for you. For your silence. Yeah. I never married. She never married? Whoa! Plot twist! It's never too late! What if you guys got married right now? If I am dreaming, let me never awake. Oh. <laughs> I never sleep. Oh my god, my heart. This is an emotional movie so far. It's really nice that Mr. Miyagi can be here for his dad in these moments. Look at all these bonsai trees. Oh no, no, he very proud surely there's gotta be a point of why this is like an air force base now like i wonder where that's going with the plot miyagi sensei in dojo thank you Hi. see you later so cool that there's a dojo here wow what an amazing beautiful location family dojo you like it's great yeah i love it something who are all these guys? All of Miyagi ancestor. 400 year work. Wow, 400 years? It's wild. First Miyagi bring karate to Okinawa. Oh, the one wow, that's so cool. Strong son, strong sake. But no. <laughs> strong sake. Oh, sensei, fall asleep off coast of Okinawa. Wake up off coast of China. Oh my god. This is the secret of your family's karate. I don't get it. I also don't get it. I'm excited to see where that goes. Rule number one. Karate for defense only. Eh? <laughs> rule number two. Fast learn rule number one. <laughs> I was going to say, is that the only rule? That's funny. I love that. What exactly can we learn from that toy? Ugh, they're there in the summer. Japan is like brutal in the summer, I've heard. As far as humidity and heat goes. Inside two years, all fish gone. All wow. Ugh, that's awful. You know what is a little bit better though? Is that Yuki didn't marry him. Because I don't think she likes him. It would be sad if she was married to somebody that she didn't like. So what, so everyone owns their own little farm? Nah, Sato own village rent. That's a bummer. Wow. That's a monopoly. <laughs> What's going on there? Do they have something going on? I mean, I guess prom didn't work out for Daniel with Ali. 150,000 Okinawan and Japanese. Why yeah. are we all so stupid? It's a good question. Uh oh. That's Sato's car, isn't it? Or his nephew's. Oh no, I definitely see Sato in there. I should have known that nephew was up to something with his unbuttoned shirt and gold chains. You have seen father. Hey. 
Then we finish tonight. Tonight? I bring a nephew for witness. <laughs> then you too soon. You sleep tonight. I not be there. Good. He's not a coward. What? Well, we're gonna throw down right here? No. Oh, Yukie. Careful, girl. He want you. And you do. Both of them. Maybe his dying wish will be that they make peace with each other. What good timing, though. Yeah, he said, you guys better make this happen. I'm not going to be around much longer to figure it out. <gasps> Was that literally the last thing he did? Oh my god. For my teacher, I give you three days to mourn. Wow. Thanks. Real respectful. <laughs> we all know what he wanted. He's just choosing to ignore that. To join him. Bro, Sato, I don't know what to tell you, man, but he's clearly a good example of money doesn't buy you happiness. It's so messed up of him to say that the moment his father just died and he was his sensei, like someone really close to him, too. Thank God Mr. Miyagi was... M able to make it here this fast. One more day and he would have missed his father. Unless his father was like, it was one of those things where he was holding on to see him. And Sato. Oh, was that them? Precious. Has he said literally a word since it happened? When my father died. I spent a lot of time thinking I wasn't such a great son. Oh. Could have listened a little more. Spent some more time with them together. Oh my god. Their relationship is so good. I felt the so way the Daniel you know, like, like he did everything for me. Can teach and Mr. I'd... Miyagi too in a way. Or at least be there for him. And then one day I realized I did the greatest thing for him before he died. Which was what? I was there with him. Oh. Said goodbye. God, this is sad. And look at Mr. Miyagi's eyes literally filling up to the brim with tears. Jeez. Oh my god, I don't feel so good. I hate seeing people cry. That's what makes me cry. And so life moves on. And we gotta get back to karate. My father was his teacher. Inside the heart, Sato still know right from wrong. But he still mm. wants to kill Yeah. That punch over there, what would you have done? Block. You think you could have? Even you could have. I'm not that- Even you could have. Matter who's stronger. Matter who's smarter. Yeah, that's true. Best way to avoid punch, no be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be in the fight. That's how you avoid being punched. Drum technique, understand? Oh, yeah. Oh, the drum toy. That's cool. Only as last resort. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Drum technique as last resort. Okay, that sounds like it's going to be important. <laughs> best, okay, the best block is to just evade it. I see, I see. Yeah, I'm okay. Come, not for today. Try again tomorrow. Only once a day? That doesn't give us many opportunities. Miyagi and Yuki have first date here. Aww. Was yesterday. Oh, that's so sweet. <gasps> Is he gonna do it to himself? I'm scared. Whoa. Yeah, Bro, Daniel, that yeah, could have impaled you. Stupid. Yes, Daniel, that was stupid. He could have died. I say that to father when same thing happened. <laughs> father agreed he was stupid. Father was right. <laughs> yeah. Is there a counterpunch in the technique? Oh my god. Miyagi's like, I've been there. Counterpunch in the technique? Jeez. 
I think there is a counterpunch. The other way around. Yeah. Exactly. He was figuring it out. And his baby. Doesn't that bother you? Nah. Daniel san. Lie become truth only if person wanna believe it. Yeah. And the people who matter don't mind. You know, that phrase. Carrots, right? Carrots. Aww. Good job. Daniel's so sweet for learning the language. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is Ichiro going to get ripped off because Daniel's here? I'm scared. Maybe you need one too. I only hear what's worth listening to. Bars. Exactly. Exactly, Daniel. Oh, <laughs> nice, Daniel. Of course they cheat them. That is so sad. Good thing they found that out. Do you still remember our song? Hi. Your song? Oh my god, this is so sweet. I've not sing a long time. Please. Please. Where are they? <clears throat> are they uh, in this frame somewhere? We were so young then. Yuki. Oh my god. Why are you so never sweet? Marry? You oh, here they are. I can find you guys. What you did was right. Oh, It's true. Except for one thing. What one thing? I should have taken you with me. Hmm. What if you guys still got married? Hear me out. A Miyagi wedding. <laughs> Or like, I don't know, at least date. That looks like it would be a good stretch for your shoulders. I kind of want to start doing that. Uh, looks like a bone dance. Oh, it well, looks like a dance? Wrong. Oh, no, no, no? Right. Yeah, that, that could be helpful. Is a bone dance a real thing? I'm assuming so, I don't know. I don't think this movie would just make it up. But I'm curious to know more about it, is what I mean. That's terrific. <laughs> you try. Oh, no, not me. It's like... <laughs> um... <laughs> this is sweet. This is a cute movie so far. Besides Sato, that's kind of impending doom. But right now, everything that's happening is pretty cute. The kids are noticing. Yeah, the kids are gonna giggle about that. This little teacher's a favorite technique, huh? Let's go. Oh my god. Leave? Okay. Not when she's here. Baby rattle. Come on. Why don't baby come take it back? He's just oh, mad about that United. thing that they found out for the farmers. You insult my Anna again. And I kill you. Kill? Brother! <laughs> There's gotta be something in between a kick and kill. Like that, that's a really big escalation. <gasps> Whoa. You keep for your correction. I know you like it. Eh? <laughs> Somebody kick him off this bridge that they're on. You know I always say this. The bullies in 1980s movies hit different. <laughs> They're so awful. It's the first time I ever had somebody ever tell me they're gonna kill me. This is ridiculous. I gotta go. Well, that's the first for everything. <gasps> oh my so god. Long. Yeah, what is going Tea on? Ceremony. Tea ceremony? It means that they are falling in love again. Yeah, that's like pretty serious, isn't it? That's so sweet. Look at how nice both of them look. Suddenly, I forgot about Sato's nephew, and we are in cute land once again. He's practicing his breathing. Good. I, I okay. go. You go. Have a good time. Oh, we can go tomorrow, Sightseeing? We don't have I want to see the set. sights. I actually want to go to Japan so bad in real life. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm gonna cry! I'm gonna cry because they probably see themselves in Kumiko and Daniel, especially since that they dated in this area when they were younger. 
there it is. The ruins of the castle of King Shash. Whoa. This is some sightseeing. The name of it is Regi no Saho. Now Sato owns it. In all days... Sato owns that? Jesus. Sato. He sells it to museums. So oh my god. Him. That's awful. <laughs> this is cute. Okay, this is fake, right? Like, so much of this movie is a green screen, right? Like, there's just... I'm not saying that it looks weird, but it just looks like it, the shots shouldn't be possible, you know? And I'm, I'm not critiquing it, I just am curious. Okay, I'll show you my dream. You know, I still can't get used to people driving on the wrong side of the street. She'll show you her dream? <laughs> so what do you want to sell TVs for a living? No. She wants to be on TV, I think. Dad. Oh. That is my dream. She wants to be a ballerina. Oh, you want to be a well, a dancer. Okay. No schools for this kind of dancing in Okinawa. Oh, what a drag. Oh, yeah, that is a drag. Tonight. Oh, good. Oh, bring your friend. Okay. Good. See you there. <laughs> Aw. That's... That's Sato's dojo. That's basically Cobra Kai. Oh, the American military is learning here? Oh. Are we sure about that? Or is that just <laughs> Joseph's excuse to beat people up? <laughs> I can see why. We must go. He may see you. Yeah. Move quick, Daniel. Okay. I was nervous about that. What's going on in here? This bad place. We don't want to go in here. Bad place? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Poor Kumiko. She must really like Daniel a lot. She said she didn't want to go in here. Ah, good. So this is the idiot bar. I see. Around Daniel said, "This guy stands wrong." It doesn't make a difference. Why? Why? You think you can do better, Big Mouth? Huh? Uh oh. Huh? Drop the mic. Well, that sounds fine. Huh? Whoa! So How did you get here and you change so fast? Cool shirt though. Hey, Kumiko, where you going? You go nowhere. She's probably going to find Mr. Miyagi. Broken ice. Broken neck. Broken ice or broken neck, brother. Somebody's got to talk to Cho's about thinking in extremes. Like, there's got to be something in the middle. No worry, I think Miyagi fix everything. What the odds? Aww. She did get Mr. Miyagi. $600, say, he break all six. What? You are covered. <gasps> Sato's here? Oh, oh God. I'm scared. So Mr. Miyagi came just to bet on Daniel. That's scary. Jump technique, probably. I don't know. <laughs> what are you gonna do, pray? <laughs> Mr. Miyagi, I love him. He's he wasn't even joking. He's literally praying. Yeah, focus. What's so funny, Sato? What are you making that face for over there? <laughs> Come on, Daniel, you can do it. Let's go! And Sato looks away in shame. We do not honor Beth, coward. Oh, oh, funny how you bend the rules to suit you. But yeah, that is embarrassing. Come on. Thank you, Sato. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Sato. We like the money. You get college tuition. Oh, it's first college tuition. Oh, that's so sweet. What I see. <laughs> Whoa. Right. It's from Miyagi. That was scary. Hi. Hi. Uh, this is for you. Hands crossed. Cute. 
Oh my god. Can they just leave us alone a little bit? Come on. We waiting for you. For what? Your three days morning. Over. Has it been three days already? Chosen's got some good shirts. Oh, so you're destroying the crops? Real mature. Like, how is this not so embarrassing for them? Wow, you can tell just by this yard that his estate is wild. Yeah. He's got money. Fear is not why he left. Kind of seems like at least he knows that he changed. Like, obviously, they used to be best friends. I came here to help Mr. Miyagi and all this stuff. I feel so helpless. That's so cute that she got him a shirt to wear here. <laughs> Daniel, you're doing pretty good. Oh, this is cute. Daniel! Okay, Daniel, so you were lying before when you said that you can't dance. Nobody just whips out those moves if they can't dance. She's also really good. This is so cute. Whoa! If that's how I were to dance, I would be exhausted from one dance. And these kids are dancing all night. Oh, well, I've been my mom's practice partner for years. Oh, so you were a liar before. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of personal, though. Personal? Are you uh, arranged, like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, to be married? No. That's a all of custom. Ready is up to me. Daniel's like, score! <laughs> well, that just means that I'm available. Oh. oh my god, this is cute. I can't count how many times I've said that this movie is cute, but it's really, really cute. Like, all the different love stories going on. Oh god. No, yeah, not again. We're just trying to have our sweet rom-com going on. My money back. And then we're reminded that this is a karate movie. Bro, you don't even need that money. You lost it. That's so pathetic. We take a home. You take her home? I hate them. Daniel, you better whoop him right now. <gasps> it was the rag trick. Thank you, Mr. Miyagi, for all your many lessons. Andy got his money back, thank God. Can't believe how small that car is that he can just hop in. Okay, now you lost twice. You lost the money twice now. So surely you'll give up now, right? Because it's just embarrassing. Like, how do you not get embarrassed about that? When you care about your honor so much, that's very dishonoring. Miyagi! Miyagi! Come out! Oh my god, we cannot get a minute Miyagi. of peace. <laughs> we fight <it> now. <laughs> like, literally. What time even is it? Like, they literally have nothing better to do. Leave him message for me. With the pressure. How pathetic are you that you can't just come here by yourself? You need your goons. <laughs> Jesus, the irony of him taking down the rules of how karate is only for self-defense. Like, these guys are so stupid. I'm sorry. <gasps> How dare he? How dare he attack that photo? Your sensei teach you how to fight with spear, huh? No. <laughs> maybe he teach you how to be coward. <laughs> okay, maybe your sensei teaches you how to be stupid 
but face dummy mochi's words not want mine i was just translating i would never stoop that low Jesus, like these people are so pathetic. That's what I hate about bullies. Like is how pathetic they are and how they don't realize that they're being pathetic. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi is going to come in here. Just you wait. It's going to be over for you. Enough. Yep. There he is. Uncle problem with Miyagi. Not with boy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> when did we create a problem between Mr. Miyagi and Chosen? Besides Chosen just being who he is. Yeah, how are you feeling about this now? You a little scared? Nice. The fact that it isn't even a fair fight. Yeah, I don't know how many guys he has, like, at least four against one Mr. Miyagi. It's so easy for him. Act of coward. coward this, coward that. Blah, 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 blah. When will you understand what real honor is and values? Honestly, these movies make me heated. I think this happened in the first Karate Kid movie, too. I also have to remember principle over passion. Did not want for us to end this way again. What do you mean? I would stay. <gasps> no. Oh my god, we're gonna try to leave? Without Yuki? Oh no. Okay, but look at Mr. Miyagi's little suspenders. Adorable. What can I do to ease your pain? Don't go. There's an idea. She probably won't ask. Take me with you. Hmm. Oh. If only we could, but can we? For a good catch. For a quick return. Oh. It's sweet. Is that a real custom? I told you. No schools for that here. There are in the States. Yeah, what if everybody just moved to California? You think I would like America? I think you would love it. But how can they afford it? Can they just go? Well, I know one part of it that already does. Oh, that's sweet. Of course. Kiss okay, so interrupted. Classic. Oh, they're gonna make it impossible for them to leave right now. They're bulldozing. All their crops? That's... I hate them. To Mr. Miyagi's hometown, that's literally so vile. I sell land. Why? Why you think? Because your feelings are way. Oh, oh, Mr. You Miyagi, win. don't cry. I'll cry. Ha. Small price to pay for your honor. Hmm. I see you here. Midnight. So no matter who wins, the village will be saved? Their homes. Their church. Everything. Gone. Just a villain. Why did that happen to him? What's this? Last will and testament. You Excuse me? You get house and pick up back home. Your will? I want you. <laughs> yeah, I, I want you to be alive. I never considered Mr. Miyagi could die in a fight. I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen. Have nothing to do with Anna Garbage. This have to do with village survival. Yeah, that's why he's suing it. Miyagi already win. No matter what happened, village. Oh, oh, I hate it here. That's why it makes me nervous how he has it ensure that even if he dies the village will be okay because it'll still be a happy ending even if mr miyagi dies like therefore it makes it very plausible is she doing a tea ceremony oh that's 
that's sweet. That was the seat taken. <laughs> It's more serious than that, Daniel. What kind of tea is it, is the question. Matcha? Nice. We love matcha. <laughs> this is really cool how we get to see all the steps of the tea ceremony. Is it like storming outside now? Or is it so windy and creaky? Now are they actually gonna kiss? They are. That's sweet. There's danger. Oh my god, that's right. Oh god, that's so dangerous for them by all this water. <laughs> is that a kid whose job it is to ring the bell? That's crazy. Okay, looks like they have a storm shelter. Hopefully it holds up all right. What do you mean? Are they just trying to keep the village up? That's scary. Oh my god, Yukie and Kuniko are going too? Oh no, they're just trying to get to the shelter. Oh my god, this is so scary. Sato's in there? Maybe we don't have to fight him. That sounded wrong. I don't mean like maybe he's gonna die. <laughs> I mean, maybe we'll save him and I don't know, maybe he'll just let bygones be bygones or something. No! Oh my god, no! <gasps> oh no! Uh, he's not dead yet, right? Jesus, the way that Chosen was just like, he's dead. <laughs> he's not even dead. God, Chosen is not a good guy. Brother, what are you talking about? Yeah, he's just saving you. He wasn't about to kill you, you goofball. Old friend! <laughs> Mr. Miyagi is too good. That girl is still up there? Somebody get her! Good lord! Yeah, Sato, are you looking at this? Because that is not what your nephew was doing. Your nephew was just like, guess he's dead. And saved himself. Yeah, he's like, well, what are you doing in here? <laughs> Coward! Coward! I cannot help him. I cannot. Bro was saying coward so many times because he's one. Ugh, infuriating. But at least he probably realizes. And Santo's like, dang, he's the coward. Where are the cowards? Oh god. Oh my god. Daniel, you're insane. <laughs> I love Daniel saving her and she's still just crying because that would be me. Sato? You go? Oh, wait. That could make me emotional. We like when people can grow and learn. Listen, look at Mr. Miyagi nodding him on. Yeah, look at what Sato did. To you, I am dead. <laughs> I am done with you, in other words. And he... He wanted to prove himself that he's different than that. What? Where? Where are you going? Whatever. 
I guess he just couldn't stand to be in the same room as all these guys now. What are they gonna do now? Best they can. <gasps> Sato is paying for reinforcement, right? Hopefully. Hopefully he's using his money for good. I come help rebuild. Yay! The deed to the village? Whoa. I beg you. Oh. oh Sato. And we didn't even have to fight. He knows good time to ask him. Is that my brave? Ask him what? What do you ask of me? Well, can they have it in the castle? That's where it really belongs anyway, doesn't it? Oh, that's special. Your student become my teacher. Yeah. Obon will be held in castle. Aww. Yippee. Condition. You dance with us. What? <laughs> okay. See, you put your mind to it, anything can happen. <laughs> Aww. That's so nice for her. Oh my god, that is so special. That is so cool to see. And Sato inviting Daniel to dance with him is really, really out of respect, which is big of him. And it's acceptance and really seeing Daniel for who he is. Not for you. I not be here. <laughs> I was about to say, isn't that the girl that he saved? That's funny. I'm not worried. I think I'm scared. Are you kidding? I've seen you do it. You're going to be terrific. Scared? Is she going to perform for everyone? Oh, with a fan? That's exciting. What a cool kimono as well. What? I'm sorry, what's going on on the balloons over there? Or... Oh, Jesus. Justin, <laughs> what is wrong with this boy? Get back to kid up. Well then! Or you kill her. I was wrong. Thank you, Sato. You are your uncle's finest student. No disgrace him here. You're yeah. Me. I have been dishonored all because of him. Whatever. Only because you allowed him. Now give me back my honor. I will need all this. In their eyes it will. No more talk. You cross bridge or I kill her. Thank God. It's not tournament. It's for real. No! Yeah. Wait, are we gonna fight? I thought we were gonna end today's movie without having a big fight. <laughs> Hit him with the drum. <laughs> Poor Kumiko. I really wanted to see her dance too. She looks so pretty. Whatever, I guess this is Karate Kid, not Dance Kid. <laughs> Come on! No! We fight to death. To death? Chosen, literally find a hobby. Maybe you could dance. <gasps> Kumiko, don't get involved, girl. Oh my god. I'm scared for her. I don't want her to get hurt. Oh, stop. Come on, Daniel. Oh, the crane kick. Unfortunately, they know about that one here. Try the drum one. The Miyagi secret. Okay, well now we're just ruining history. Focus, focus, Daniel. Evade and then sh counter punch. Otherwise, this is a pretty even fight. Is he carrying that this whole time? Does he carry it everywhere? Yes, remember the drum. <gasps> Everyone has them! Oh, even so and so. Oh my god, I hate that. Because that's gonna make me emotional. When people believe in someone, it gets the tear ducts working. Nice. 
That's that drum punch. Are we gonna kill him? Certainly not. Just maybe knocked unconscious? <gasps> the honk thing. He's gonna do the honk thing. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> I love that. That's so awesome. <laughs> The only thing they could have made that better is if Daniel then did, I got your nose. We did it. Another emotional fight. Big fight at the end of the movie. I guess it makes sense because we didn't get the Miyagi Sota fight. The end. Oh, that was so good. Friends, thank you so much for watching The Karate Kid Part 2 with me. That was definitely different than the first movie. And I thought it was interesting how like focused it was on kind of like cute things as opposed to what happened in the first movie. And I actually thought that it was going to end without a big fight. I really, really liked the way that Sato and Miyagi didn't have to fight and the way that Sato actually came around felt more satisfying than like fighting however we can see that some things some people do need to have a fight but you know that honk thing at the end is just so miyagi and daniel coded it just it doesn't feel like a brutal dirty fight when they treat it that way so yeah i really really enjoyed this movie i'm so happy i'm watching the karate kid movies and i'm very much looking forward to when we get to the next one again thank you so much for watching with me and i will see you in the next video goodbye